Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about serous or secretoriotitis media. This is a concise presentation for medical students. This condition has many names like otitis media with effusion, serous otitis media, secretoriotitis media, mucoid otitis media and blue ear. Serous otitis media is an insidious condition characterized by accumulation of non-purulent effusion in the middle ear cleft. The key word here is non-purulent effusion. Effusion is thick and viscid. Fluid is nearly sterile. It is common in school going children. What is the pathogenesis of serous otitis media? Serous otitis media can be due to malfunctioning of eustachian tube in which case the eustachian tube fails to aerate the middle ear and therefore is unable to drain the fluid in the middle ear. Another cause for serous otitis media is increased secretory activity of middle ear mucosa leading to accumulation of fluid in the middle ear. To make it simple, serous otitis media can result if there is increased accumulation of fluid in the middle ear and decreased drainage of fluid from the middle ear. What is the etiology of serous otitis media? Serous otitis media can be due to malfunctioning of eustachian tube as seen in conditions like adenoid hyperplasia, chronic rhinitis and sinusitis, chronic tonsillitis, benign and malignant tumors of nasopharynx and palatal defects. In this condition, the eustachian tube fails to drain the fluid from the middle ear. Serous otitis media can also be due to allergy, unresolved otitis media and viral infections. In these conditions, there will be increased secretion of fluid into the middle ear. What are the symptoms of serous otitis media? Hearing loss, delayed and defective speech in children due to the hearing loss and mild earaches are the chief symptoms of serous otitis media. What are the otoscopic findings in serous otitis media? Tympanic membrane is dull and opaque. There is loss of light reflex. That is, you can't see the cone of light when you shine a torch. The tympanic membrane will be yellow, grey or bluish in colour. A thin leash of blood vessels along the handle of malleus or at the periphery of tympanic membrane is seen. This is different from marked condition seen in acute suppurative otitis media. The tympanic membrane shows varying degrees of retraction. Fluid level and air bubbles can be seen when fluid is thin and tympanic membrane is transparent. The tympanic membrane mobility is restricted. What are the hearing tests done in a case of serous otitis media? Tuning fork tests show conductive hearing loss. Audiometry shows conductive hearing loss of 20 to 40 decibels. Impedance audiometry is a special test done in case of serous otitis media. Presence of fluid is indicated by reduced compliance and flat curve with a shift to the negative side in impedance audiometry in a case of serous otitis media. X-ray mastoids show clouding of acids due to fluid. How do you treat a case of serous otitis media? The main aim in treatment of serous otitis media is to remove fluid and prevent its recurrence. The medical treatment includes Providing decongestants to relieve edema of eustachian tube and thereby facilitating the drainage of fluid from the middle ear. Anti-allergic measures like antihistaminics, steroids and desensitization to reduce the secretion of fluid into the middle ear. Antibiotics can be given to treat upper respiratory tract infections and unresolved acute suppurative otitis media. Middle ear aeration should be done by Valsalva maneuver or eustachian tube catheterization or by providing chewing gum to children. Middle ear aeration helps in the drainage of fluid from the middle ear. Surgical treatment of serous otitis media is indicated when fluid is thick and medical treatment alone doesn't help. Beringotomy and aspiration of fluid is done by placing two incisions, one in antero-inferior and other in antero-superior quadrant. Grommet insertion can be done. Grommet is a tube surgically implanted in the eardrum to drain fluid from the middle ear. Tympanotomy or cortical mastoidectomy can also be done. Surgical treatment of causative factor can be done. like adenoidectomy or tonsillectomy in cases of adenoid hyperplasia or tonsillitis. What, what are the sequelae of chronic secretory otitis media? Atrophic tympanic membrane and atelectasis of the middle ear, ossicular necrosis, tympanosclerosis, retraction pockets and cholesteatoma and cholesterol granuloma are the various complications of chronic secretory otitis media. Thank you.